It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. All right, Candy out today. We will reconvene with her tomorrow. Get to all things Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, you got to wait another day to hear of the uh, the amazingness that, or maybe not, that was my Thanksgiving. We'll we'll see. 24 more hours. Uh, Jimmy Allen crazy news about his six-week-old daughter Zara who came down with something called RSV. It's a respiratory illness. Um, uh, His wife had to rush the baby to the hospital. She was on a tour bus, had to pull over to the side of the road, call 911. Crazy stuff. Um, The baby had a coughing fit for like 10 minutes and then lost color, became limp. Scary, scary stuff. You could read all about it on their social media. Uh, Luckily, Zara doing quite well now. We are so happy about that. Mitchell Tenpenny over the break proposed to his musician a girlfriend, now fiancé, Megan Patrick. Congrats to the two of them. Well, big news, uh, sad news too, but big news over the break. Stephen Sondheim, the legendary father of musical theater, passed at 91. All the tributes pouring in. Um, And then yesterday I saw footage of Lin-Manuel Miranda and many people gathered in the Times Square Broadway area, uh, reading some of his works and singing songs and um, really incredible stuff uh, to see on social media. And uh, the musical theater would not be what it is today without Stephen Sondheim, who passed at 91. Lindsay Lohan seems to be getting things going again and uh, her life together. Engaged now, congrats, and some movies coming out, uh, some acting roles she's in and looks pretty good and Uh, Maybe she's back at it. She was always an incredible actress uh, when things were right with her. Uh, Incredible. Really, really great. And uh, hopefully uh, things are going well now. Lindsay engaged. The Rock over the break. I hope you saw this video. Gave his truck to a Navy veteran. Really emotional, beautiful piece. And um, Red Notice, we found out, with The Rock and Ryan Reynolds and Gal Gadot, is number one, the most viewed movie ever on Netflix, ever, ever, passing Bird Box. Um, You know my review, if you're a listener of the show. I'm not a fan of the movie. It was okay. It was one of those movies like you could be doing other things while you're watching it, you know, fold some laundry, that kind of thing. Um, And, you know, the eyeballs went to it because of the big stars in it. And good for Netflix. You get the big stars, people watch. It is the number one most watched movie ever on Netflix. Disney's Encanto won the box office. I never heard of it, never saw a preview. But it was the winner. In related news, 21 million people watched the Thanksgiving Day Parade Thursday morning, and uh, that's uh, more for, than yesterday. Uh, than yesterday, more than more than last year, and uh, very nice people. The eyeballs were back on it, so good to see. Love the parade. Faison Love, who is an actor comedian, played uh, in many roles, but uh, most notably, probably the department store manager in Elf says, we're ready for a sequel, even if Will Ferrell isn't. Now, Will Ferrell turned down $29 million to do an Elf sequel. And, I, you know, I kind of get it. Will has a ton of dough, I'm sure. And he didn't want to ruin what was an incredible movie. Uh, but Faison says, let's go with or without Will. We're ready. Ryan Reynolds and Catherine O'Hara both received awards at a Canadian awards show. Uh, sad news. Former X Factor contestant Thomas Wells... He passed at 46 years old. He was working in a tire manufacturing plant. Uh, There was an accident. Uh, Don't know exactly what happened, but very sad, terrible. And finally, the Beatles documentary on Disney Plus. I have not seen it. I got to try to check it out. Uh, People on social media saying it proves that Yoko Ono did not break up the band. Also, seeing a lot of musicians, including country stars, saying, you know, after they watched it, how difficult it looked to make music in that scenario, how crazy things were in their writing sessions and uh, when they were recording and the band dynamic and everything. So interesting. I'm going to try to see if I can check that out. The new Beatles doc. TV tonight, ESPN, Washington and Seattle, Monday Night Football, NBC with The Voice, ABC, Big Night, CMA Country Christmas, hosted by Gabby Barrett and Carly Pierce. And the great Christmas light fight on ABC as well. Also, the 2021 Miss USA on Hulu. And there you have it. You're bald and the beautiful everything from Nashville to Hollywood. My country, 96.1.
Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.